watching and they're real wild about being on candid camera this morning. But uh, this is my own little version of a maggot bucket. And uh, we've got several of them been working with us for since last year. And uh, what I do is put dead animals. In this case, the, the one that she's in happens to have some dead rabbits get killed by fire ants on me. And uh, put some wood shavings down underneath, put a little bit of wood shavings on top of the dead bodies. And then put a screen up so they can't dig under it and some bricks on the side to hold the screen down. Very easy to pull it all out and put a couple of holes in there so that it doesn't, uh, in really rainy weather, doesn't drain. And there's quite a few maggots, mostly small. They're, not, they're eating all the big ones right now. And I uh, don't know if you can see any of the maggots in there, but... Uh, Quite a few along the edge. And if I move the brick, you should see quite a few more down in there. And uh, this works pretty well. And doesn't, whenever you have dead animals or you're cleaning up after your stuff, um, either processing a pig or processing a bunch of rabbits and chickens or whatever like that, you can just put them in there and get a, get an additional use out of them and they're turned into complete compost after a while and you use it in the garden. All right. Bye.